So today I'm going to be reading The Hunger Games in the order that Suzanne, Suzanne Collins kind of intended it. Technically she didn't write them in this order, but this is the way they go chronologically. I've obviously read the whole Hunger Games series before, but I have not read this one yet. But I'm not just gonna be reading this book. After I'm done with this I'm one, I'm gonna dive into the first book of the Hunger Games series again, which I'm really excited to read because it's been such a long time since I've read this. But you can see all the places where I folded the pages when I originally read this book. And I heard that it's kind of traumatic reading this book and then this one right afterwards. The villain in this book is the main character in this book. So I'm excited to try it and also a little bit scared. <laughs> Okay, so I just got up to chapter three and it's actually pretty good so far. I realized as I started reading this that I have no idea what this book is about. I just know that it's President Snow's whole backstory, but I had no idea what that was. Um, but this actually does seem like it's going to be a pretty interesting story. I didn't even realize there was gonna be a whole like Hunger Games in this book. This was day one and we'll get through more of it tomorrow. So it's day two of reading this. I think my goal is to read 100 pages a day this week because it's a little over 500 pages long. Then I will be done by the end of this week and then hopefully I can read The Hunger Games over the weekend. But that means I have to read 100 pages a day, which is really hard to do when I'm like working and stuff. Okay, so I was doing a little bit of research on the order of the Hunger Games books and how you should read them. I was reading um, like this article on what it's like to read them in chronological order because I don't think many people have done that. And I'm just gonna read this little snippet I found. It literally says, the shift in perspective regarding snow from the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes to the Hunger Games might give you emotional whiplash. <laughs> so can't wait for that emotional whiplash. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not even 100 pages in yet, so that's great. I'm considering downloading this book on audiobook so that I can listen to it while I'm working tomorrow. I think I need to speed up the process a little so bit. Tomorrow I'm gonna listen to a bunch while I'm working, and then I'm also gonna come home and keep reading the physical copy. So far, I'm actually really liking it. I'm getting really excited about the actual like Hunger Games that's coming, and I'm hoping I can hit 200 pages tomorrow. That is my goal. Okay, so getting the audiobook ended up being a really, really good idea because I ended up today listening to a decent amount and getting all the way into part two of the book, which starts on page 157. So now I only have less than 50 pages I need to read tonight in order to hit my goal of 200 pages. This is starting to get really, really good. I think I stopped at like one of the hardest chapters to stop on because they are about to go into the games, which is like the most exciting part. This is the part that I've been like waiting all of this time to like get to. Yeah, I hit 200 pages today and then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna try to hit halfway and then I'll only have a little bit more left. Then after that, we're gonna go straight into this. Okay, so I've made a lot of progress in the past 24 hours. So my goal for today was to hit the halfway point and I've hit a little over halfway. So technically I've exceeded my goal. I think I'm gonna be pretty close to the end by this time tomorrow and then I'll just like finish off the rest of it either tomorrow night or on Friday. Now that the actual like Hunger Games part has started, it's pretty good. It's gotten way more exciting and way more interesting than it was before this point because for a while in the whole like beginning third of the book, it was just like preparing for this and building up to this. So it's becoming really, really weird to me that the person I know in the regular Hunger Games series is the main character in this book. I've been trying so hard Hard today to figure out like how he goes from this to what he's like in the Hunger Games and I just can't figure it out. I don't know what happens. Something must happen and I hope they show it in this book. Okay, so it's Thursday, day four. I'm on page 397, so basically 400. So I pretty much only have 100 pages left, a little over 100. So technically I could finish this tonight. I'm like really 
confused and a little bit worried about what's gonna happen in these last few pages because I'm assuming they're gonna explain like all that happens to him, like the main character. And so I just feel like there's a lot to like show within these last few pages because I still don't really know what's going to like show what makes this character who he is in the next book, if that makes sense. I really do just wanna finish it tonight. I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. So I'm gonna try to read this as quickly as I can. I just got to chapter 28 and it's getting really intense. It's getting really late and I need to go to sleep, but I'm at chapter 29 and I'm getting so close, but I think I need to wait and finish it tomorrow because I don't want to rush through the ending. I want to be able to go slowly and really appreciate all that I'm reading. So I think I might just let myself wait and finish it tomorrow. So last night, I think I kind of ended by saying that I wasn't going to read anymore and I was going to go to bed and then finish it again today, which is the next day. But I kind of lied. <laughs> So as soon as I stopped filming that, I decided to read just a few more paragraphs because I really wanted to. And then that led to a few more and then a few more and a few more. And I finished that chapter and then I read the whole next chapter too. And then once I got to chapter 30, I fell asleep. And then I woke up really early the next morning and finished it really quick as the sun was rising. It was actually really nice. And now I am officially finished. The ending picked up so, so, so much in the last just like two chapters or even the last chapter was like so much happened all at once and I feel like it would have been so much better if they spread that out a little bit more. You definitely find out what makes the main character a villain in this book and it is really cool to know and to see where like so much of what's in this book where it like came from that was like really fun to just learn about in general which is making me really 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 excited to read the actual hunger games now i have officially made it to the 130 page mark um i'm at part three page 247 i definitely made it a lot more than halfway it is like really cool to see the difference in like the world from the last book to this one because so much has changed i remember when i read it for the first time i read it i think in a week which is really slow but for me back then it was like really really fast yeah, this book is still really good and i forgot how good it really is there's so much exciting stuff happening every single chapter I think reading a book in two days is probably the quickest I've ever read a book, maybe, I think. So it's been exactly a week and I have accomplished my goal, which was reading both of these books before the end of the week. I just finished this one like a few minutes ago. Basically the whole point of this challenge was to read the prequel to The Hunger Games and see how it would be to read it in chronological order, which is unlike the order of how the books came out. It was really crazy to see how much the whole world had changed in the amount of time from the Songbirds book to this one. And yeah, I did it, I'm finished, and that was fun. I finished it in less than two days, which is a big jump from folding the page down every single chapter.